Now we're going to uh, finish with our fish. Uh, by the way, we're preparing a, a Provencal style uh, dish with a codfish Provencal and a sauté vegetable and a roasted garlic potatoes. So here we are with our cod fillet. I need to uh, add a little bit of lemon later on, but let me show you a little trick. That's a bartender trick. If you want to get more juice out of your lemon, press it and roll it like this by hand on top of your uh, table here. And you will get way more juice out of your lemon. Okay, so we, we good. we'll be ready for later on. Here we go. So, now our fish, I'm going to season it. So I'm going to put, again, a little bit of pepper. Okay, you, you put whatever you want. I'm going to do two types of pepper. I'm going to do a little bit of paprika and a little bit of, uh, not paprika, Cajun style pepper, red pepper, to give it a little kick. We like spicy at home. A touch of salt, but really a touch. Why not too much here? Because the, the salt will bring the water out of the fish and that will dry the fish. You don't want to do this. A little bit of uh, Italian herbs here with a touch of also lavender I added in there, so it makes it more little Provencal style. You can always add a little fresh lavender as well, a branch into while you're cooking. So this is seasoned on, on one side, we're ready. Okay, I picked a pan that is just perfect for fitting my three pieces. If I had a much larger pan, I'm going to burn in the empty space, or if I have a too tight pan, then I'm going to clog the fish, which is not good. It won't cook evenly because some will be on the edge. So make sure you use the appropriate size pan when you cook fish, meat, chicken, any of these. So again, I'm putting my pan on hot. I'm going to... I'm going to use uh, a little bit of my prepared oil. Minutes for since when I make a mess. Okay, so I'm putting my again a little bit more. You have to put a little bit more of oil on two teaspoons for sure on, on this one. The fish can attach very easily. Fish cooks very quickly. You have to keep that in mind. You want the center to be slightly undercooked because once you take it out, it's finished to cook on its own and it's better and and then finishing with a really dry piece, that's no good. So we're going to put our fish here. Not quite hot enough. See, I don't hear the buzz, so I wait. All right. Just a little more. Another way to know if it's hot enough, if you see the oil bubble on the bottom of the pan, that's an indication that it's hot. But because I don't have much, there's not much to bubble. There we go. Okay. Now don't move it, don't, don't try to go it right now. Let it sear, let it cook on its own. Meanwhile, I'm re-seasoning the other side. I prefer to do it this way because I don't lose anything on the, off the plate otherwise. Many people, chef, will do it both sides. That's not my method. I prefer the other way. I have plenty of time for a small amount. Now, if I'm cooking for 50 people, that's a different story. Then I season everything and put that on a big tray. All right. Again, you want the golden nice color. If you overcook fish, it will dry and won't taste the good. So if you do, the only thing you can do is to realize that you did. Add water immediately to the pan so the fish can a little bit absorb a little bit of that water, but very little. Okay, almost there. A little longer. You make sure also that the uh, herbs don't, don't burn. I have to watch for that carefully.
Again, if you prepare for your clients and you need to reheat that for them later on, or they do it on their own, slightly undercook the fish again, and slightly undercook. But make sure you tell them not to eat it raw and plain like that. They have to reheat it first because it's not finished. Okay. So we're going to let it finish on its own. And uh, we're going to finish our vegetables, so let me go, go look under my veggies here. It's very hot, careful. That looks pretty good. I'm going to check if it's properly cooked. Yes, it goes in easily. Perfect, it's done. So now all I have to do is plate. My potato are also ready. So I'm going to put this on low so I don't overcook it. Getting my potatoes. It's all right. Nice and golden. Now I need my salt, a little salt. Don't worry, what goes on the tray it doesn't matter. And I like a little pep uh, hot pepper on it, just a little bit. It gives you a nice spiciness to it. Now, if you want to add a little more. Uh, Herbs, you can add some rosemary, that uh, would be nice too. Mince, very small pieces. Okay, so now we're going to plate. So let's stop here for a minute.